What's up guys, Robus Jr. here. Thank you so much for watching and today I'll be showing you how to hack your PSP via Mac OS. This video was requested by some of my viewers and they had trouble because they didn't have a PC to hack their PSPs. So I'm helping them out here with this awesome video and hopefully this helps out with anybody that has a Mac OS. So hacking your PSP requires to have custom firmware on your system. And this enables you to play all sorts of games from Nintendo all the way up to PlayStation 1. I'll be showing you step by step on how to hack your PSP on the Mac. So let's go ahead and get started. All the files that we're going to be downloading in this video will be in the description below. All links will be in chronological order. I forgot to mention that this hack works for the first, second and third generation PSPs. PSP 1000, 2000, and 3000. In this video, I'll be hacking a PSP 2000. This 2000 model is currently running 6.31, and we're going to go ahead and upgrade it to 6.60. Version 6.60 is required for this hack. First download is the Unarchiver. This is going to help us extract all of our zip files that we're going to be downloading in this video. It's going to be very easy to install this uh, program. All you have to do is just download it then you have to find it in your download folder and then next you want to open that zip file and then the program should appear right next to it once you have that all set you want to open your finder folder a new finder folder to your applications and then you want to drag that program into your applications folder and the program should be installed on your mac next up we're going to go to walolo.net to download the psp official firmware 6.60 we're going to go to the download section and use the third link, which is the direct link, into wololo.net. Go ahead and click on that link and it should automatically download and it should take about a few seconds. Now let's find our zip file. Go ahead and double click it and the archiver should extract it automatically. And you should see a new folder that says OFW660. Now we are ready to get it onto the PSP. Next we're going to grab our mini USB cable and connect our PSP to our Mac. And go ahead and go to the USB connection and get USB mode activated. Once you have your PSP connected you should see the drive on your desktop. Go ahead and open it. Then we're going to open the PSP folder within that drive. And if you don't see a game folder go ahead and create it like I did here. Once it's done, go into your game folder, have it ready, go back to OFW660 folder, open that up, and drag the update folder into the PSP game folder. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Now we're all set to go back onto our PSP and update our firmware. Now we continue on to our PSP, we're going to get out of USB mode and go into our game memory stick. Go ahead and run PSP update version 6.60. It does take a few minutes to run the update, but once you have it running, just go ahead and follow the steps and update your firmware to 6.60. Once the update is completed, go ahead and press the X button to restart. Once it restarts, you want to go ahead and double check your system settings, going into your system software and making sure that the version does say 6.60. Now we're going to go back onto our Mac and download our third file, which is the Pro CFW, the Pro Custom Firmware, the third link in the description below. And we're going to go to our download links and we're going to use the second download link, which is the Mediafire.com indirect link.
Now connect your PSP to your Mac and then open your drive on the desktop. Once it's open, go into your PSP folder, go into game folder, have that ready open. Then we're going to go back to 660 Pro folder, open that. We're going to go into PSP, also into game, and then we're going to see three files there. We're going to drag those three files into that PSP game folder. Once those three files are done, we're going to go back to the beginning from each folder. So just reset, just like I did here. Next, we're going to drag the SE plugins from the 660 Pro C folder into our PSP root. If you already have a SE plugins, just go ahead and copy the files within that folder and copy it onto your PSP SE plugins folder. Now we can finish everything on the PSP. Disconnect your USB cable and go into your game memory stick. Then run Pro PSP Firmware Update. It's going to take a few minutes to run the update, so just be patient. If you follow the steps correctly, you should see this little menu pop up on your upper left screen. Press X to launch the custom firmware and it should take a few seconds. Press X again to restart your system. Go to your system information and you should now see 6.60 Pro C custom firmware on your system. Now for the final step, we're going to go back into our game memory stick and we're going to run Flasher for Pro C. This will permanently install your custom firmware and you'll be all good to go. Press X to install CIPL and it should take a few seconds. There you go guys and that's how you hack your PSP via Mac OS. Thank you so much for watching and now you can install all sorts of awesome games onto your PSP and you can check out my videos that I have in the description below on how to install a few cool emulators, old school emulators and how to install the games for those emulators. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. This took a long time to make this video so please give it a thumbs up, I really appreciate it a lot. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you have any questions whatsoever, please comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Take care guys and I'll see you on the next one.